Hello viewers and welcome to another cathedral. This time we are at the wonderful cathedral in Chichester on the south coast in West Sussex here in England. Why am I here? I can hear you shouting. Well, I'm here because this is one of my favourite cathedrals. It's perfectly formed. It's gorgeous. It's got a wonderful acoustic. It's in a wonderful location. And more importantly for you and for me, it's got a wonderful, wonderful organ. Which is lucky because I'm here recording it. Tim Rivald, the, the assistant here, is actually recording a bit of Vidor now. And if we walk in, have a listen. with these recording sessions I thought I would tell you about the microphone placements I know how much some of you really enjoy that in this fabulous cathedral um, there's a couple of things to think about the acoustic in this place is not overly generous uh, it is a glorious acoustic for choral singing it's a really clear acoustic um, in this area this area here is called the choir um, and Chichester Cathedral has always traditionally had um, a small choir, so it's got six adults and I think maybe 16 at the most boys, um, soon to be girls as well. And if you look, then the choir stalls are tiny. I don't know whether you can see, but they are tiny. So because the choir has always had a traditionally small sound, the organ also is a small sounding organ and the choir area isn't very big and the organ is right there. So you wouldn't want an organ like Liverpool Cathedral in here. As amazing as that would sound, <laughs> as epic as it was, that uh, would sound really epic, wouldn't it? But this organ is, per uh, is voiced perfectly, so it's not overly loud. So the acoustic in here is not overly generous, but it's a really wonderful, um, warm acoustic. There is definitely some resonance here. So the organ and the choir and the acoustic are perfectly matched. So what I've been bearing in mind is that the, the choir is small and the organ is small in sound. Therefore, I've actually decided to mic it quite closely. So I think it's a... Uh, a smaller sounding organ will take a closer miking position. If you've got a loud screaming organ, the last thing you want to do is put the microphones right next to the pipes because they will just scream into the microphones. This organ doesn't scream in the slightest, which is good for us. So, look at this, that chandelier. Who put that chandelier there? That's ridiculous. It gets in the way of the microphones. So, we've got um, the main pair of microphones all the way up top. Let me just get up there. These guys up here are the, um, the Neumann KM184s. They are in ORTF form. You can see how close they are. They are actually um, about halfway up the organ case um, level with the grate and swell. This is the positive division here. Quick voice over here from, uh, from me. Uh, I went completely off the rails in the video, I hadn't said the wrong microphone. These are the Beodynamic MC930 condenser microphones. Uh, really good in my experience for capturing a close uh, subject. Let me just show you this piece of ingenuity. This is genius, you'll all agree, definitely. So I had to build a base, I had to nab a words only NEH, a book of common prayer um, to make a solid foundation for the microphone stand for the positive microphones. You know, when they build this cathedral, you'd have thought that they would take into mind that one day Beauty and Sound will record here and they ought to leave a bit of space for microphones to record the positive division. Let's walk into the 
south transept to have a look at the um, microphones in here. These are in A, B position. That is to say that they are basically both facing directly forwards. There's no point in putting these in uh, ORTF because they're at such a distance from the organ that having them in ORTF like that would make no difference at all. So there they are, sort of fairly high up. I would say, what would that be, 18 feet in the air? I don't know, something like that. Uh, they're capturing in here. Can you hear the acoustic in here? Ah! Uh, the acoustic in here is really nice, actually, the transept. Um, people say the organ sounds at its best in here. So I suspect that the, these microphones in the balance, in the mix when I get home, will be the main sounding microphones and all the other microphones will basically just sit underneath those. But we'll see. Let's zoom down into the nave now. And then this is where all the resonance happens. This is the fabulous nave. Ah. Hope you heard that, my beautiful singing. So, I've got the, uh, the, the Neumann 187s here. No, he hasn't. He's got the Neumann 170s. I'm on a roll today. It's capturing the acoustic. So these are going to capture the, um, the sound coming from the organ, which is actually quite a distance over there, coming all the way down here, firing down onto the uh, west wall and bouncing back. So these are getting the, the real genuine uh, acoustic, that swirling sound that we'll pick up in here. I'm not worried about there being a delay uh, between those microphones and the transept and these, because in reality, um, you know when you're in a cathedral, I think it's very easy to over-engineer this. When you're in a cathedral, you hear um, sound, organ sound, uh, coming at you from different locations, from 360 degrees at different times, because the sound is bouncing off different surfaces at different times and then it's coming to you at different times. So you could say that if you're trying to get the real sense of immersion, you'd leave it. You might have these microphones slightly delayed because that's what you'd have in the real cathedral. In reality, uh, from my experience now of doing a few of these recordings, having these microphones in the nave with a little bit of distance and a little tiny, tiny bit of time lag or phase, um, you don't notice it really with the acoustic. It all comes out in the wash, the wash being the acoustic here. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, it's never caught me out just yet. So Tim has now recorded his recital. Sounded amazing. I'm gonna de-rig all of these uh, microphones, take the sound home, get into Cubase, edit it all and put it together with the cameras, the cameras that are in the organ loft as well. And there's one up there, he probably can't see it, but it's up there. Uh, put it all together and share it with you. Check out the video when it comes online. I'll obviously advertise it in due course. Get subscribed, press the like button if you like this video. If you've got any comments about my, my positioning, let me know it in the comments. And until next time, say cheerio. Goodbye.